Welcome to our Angular tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with styles in Angular. Our viewer wants to know how to get the styles of DOM elements, specifically how to retrieve the rendered width and height of an element without setting them manually. Let's dive into the details of this intriguing challenge. Welcome to another tech video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. To get the styles of a DOM element in Angular, we can use the native element ref to access the underlying DOM element directly. First, we need to import element ref and view child from Angular Core. This allows us to reference the DOM element in our component. Next, we will define a view child property in our component to get a reference to the paragraph element. This will allow us to access its styles. Now, we can access the width and height of the paragraph element using the native element property of element ref. This will give us the rendered dimensions. Finally, we can bind these dimensions to the text area when the editing mode is activated, ensuring a seamless transition between the paragraph and text area. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The best approach is to avoid directly manipulating DOM styles in Angular. Instead, leverage HTML and CSS for layout management. Accessing element heights can lead to complex issues, so consider if you truly need to do this. If you need to get an element's height, ensure you have a clear purpose. Providing a specific example can help others suggest simpler solutions without extensive Angular code. For a practical example, you can toggle between a paragraph and a text area using a button. The text area can be positioned absolutely within a div, allowing for seamless editing. In Angular, you can adapt this by using a Boolean variable to control the editing state, allowing for a clean and efficient way to manage text input. And that's it, guys. I hope this video has helped you find that solution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.